Hey there folks, Graham here with more things you can do with MIDI. Now, did you know that if you have a Roland TR-8S drum machine like this, not only is it a fantastic drum machine, and as many people will know, also has a built-in audio interface, but it also has a built-in MIDI interface. So what is a MIDI interface and why is this such a great feature to have on the TR-8S? How do you use it and what can you do with it? Well, to start with, what is a MIDI interface? Basically, it takes MIDI signals from good old five pin MIDI cables and translates them into a format that can be used by your computer, enabling the signals to be sent to and from the computer via USB. This is especially useful if you've got an older synth or synths that don't have USB and just have MIDI connections, as without a MIDI interface, there's no way for them to talk with a computer, if that's what you want to do. Usually a MIDI interface would be a standalone box like these. Here we have the Motu MIDI Express, a Conductive Labs MRCC, and an iConnectivity Mio XL. To use these, you would connect the MIDI ins and outs of your synths to the MIDI interface and then connect the interface to your computer via USB. However, many other pieces of gear, for example, some audio interfaces, also have MIDI capability built into them. Here are two popular audio interfaces, the Behringer UMC404 HD and the Focusrite 18i8, both of which have a MIDI in and MIDI out port on the back of them that can be used as a MIDI interface. And as we now know, the TR-8S drum machine also has this MIDI capability. In order to use the built-in MIDI interface, you go to the utility menu, and then using the value knob, scroll until you get to the MIDI section, and then go to the part that says USB MIDI through, and ensure that this is turned on. When turned on, this allows anything connected to the MIDI in of the TR-8S to communicate with your computer. And likewise, anything that is connected to the MIDI out can receive data back from the computer, all via the USB connection from the TR-8S. This means that the TR-8S can help do some pretty cool stuff in your studio if you want it to. If you've got an older synth, that doesn't have USB, but you want to either record MIDI data from it into your door, or you want to use it to trigger or control VSTs in your door, you can use the TR-8S to enable this. You would connect the MIDI in and out of the synths to the TR-8S. Remember though, you will need two MIDI cables as they can only carry signals in one direction. So you need one to send the signal to the TR-8S and one to receive the signal back. Then connect the TR-8S to your computer via USB. For USB, you only need one cable as they are bi-directional, allowing the necessary two-way communication over a single cable. Then in your door, you would set the inputs and outputs accordingly. Here we have the synth being used to trigger my pad shop VST, and I have the input set as the TR-8S as that is where the signal from the synth is coming from. And I have the channel set to one or whatever channel your synth happens to be set to. And here we have a MIDI track where we're recording the actual MIDI data from the synth. Again, I would set the input as the TR-8S, but also the output as well, as we want to be able to send the recorded MIDI data back to the synth via the TR-8S. Also, as shown in one of my previous videos, you can use this MIDI interface functionality to introduce more flexibility into how you can use some of your synths. For example, my MODX8 Plus here has two modes, MIDI and USB. To play any of my hardware synths that are connected to it via MIDI, I have it in MIDI mode. And to play VSTs in the door on my computer, I have it in USB mode. But ordinarily, I can't have MIDI and USB running simultaneously. So I can't play my hardware synths and my VSTs at the same time. And indeed, if I want to swap between them, I would have to go into the utility settings on the MODX and change to whichever mode I need. But 
by utilizing the MIDI interface on my TR-8S drum machine, I can, as I'm effectively bypassing the USB from the MODX and sending its five pin MIDI signal direct to the computer via the TR-8S, as well as out to all my hardware synths at the same time. This means I can trigger both hardware and software synths at the same time without having to mess around with changing modes in the utility section of the MODX. So here I am using my MODX to trigger my DeepMind 12 over on the top behind me. And now at the touch of a button, I can play the Polybrute, which is over there behind me underneath the DeepMind. And again, at another touch of a button, I can now play my Spectrasonics VST on my computer. And with another touch of a button, I can play my Korg Poly6 VST. Swapping between instruments on the fly without having to change any utility settings. For more details on exactly how I have this set up and how to do it, I'll leave a link in the description down below to a video that covers that setup in more detail. So that's it. That's how the MIDI interface on the TR-8S works and some ideas on how you can use it. If you don't have a standalone MIDI interface, but do have a Roland TR-8S drum machine, then this may help expand your ways of working. And if you don't have a TR-8S drum machine, then as mentioned earlier, you may have an audio interface with MIDI capability built in, which will allow you to do pretty much the same thing. And if you do have a standalone MIDI interface, then maybe you didn't realize that you could do some of these things with it. Either way, I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you have, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell as it really, really is appreciated. And if you've got any questions at all on this or any of my other content, please leave them in the comments down below and I will get back to you. Indeed, any other feedback is of course gratefully received. Oh, and while you're here, don't forget to check out the playlists on my channel as there's loads of other videos in there that you may find useful. But for now, I've been Graham, take care and catch you later. Mm -hmm.